So the goal handicap is next. Well, the grand handicap, depending on where you come from, and it's a uh, one mile naught to seventy. And what's that one is Bavarian Nimbus for Derek Hinton, Kingscroft Homer for Dan Hughes, Silo Art Trail, Darren Thompson, Toronto Valois, Vinnie Gerard, Everton, Brook, Paul Fisk, Kick Here, Kevin Meenan, Passion, Paul Mark Jones, Arthur Tudor, Kevin Meenan, Barney Fife, Obi Wan, Foxley Truffle, Ananias, Telescopic, Ryan Costello, Hidden Benefit, Craig Beckwith, African Grey, Graham Clutterbuck, Al Baggy, Alex Cherry, Kura Hajar, Ananias, Mohawk Fleet, John Seaford, That Image, Dan Hughes, Timeless Spirit, Paul O'Neill, Pialini behind, John Seaford, High Atlas, Ryan Costello, Paparetti at Kent, and two smashing for D Slattery and Regal Command for Martin Leadham is the bottom one. So a big, big field for this then. It's a gone field for the gone on the gap and I they go. And Everton Brook fires out of the stores today and in the lead up the centre of the track. And he's going to try and cut right across it would seem to get to the rail. Leads from Mohawk Fleet and Kick here, then Paolini behind and Regal Command is also close up. Then Kingscroft Homer and Silo Art Trail with that image behind that one looking towards the back. Al Baggy is just a back marker, but Everton Brook has jumped out of the stalls and has gone into a good lead of about two lengths. Paolini behind in the yellow is second, then Kick here in the green and orange is third. Regal Command after that one with Silo Art Trail and Telescopic, and then Barney Fife and also Passion Paul is close up as well. So too is Kingscroft Homer. A couple of greys up the centre there. That image is one of them, and uh, the other one might be Hidden Benefit or Kingscroft Homer, but it's Everton Brook who's kicked on them by about four now. They race away from us. It's Everton Brook in the lead from Telescopic and Kick Here, and then Pileni behind's also up there. Mohawk Fleet is also doing quite well at this stage. Al Baggy still towards the back with two smashing and Bavarian Nimbus, but Everton Brook is clearing the lead. Regal Command is just about to move into second. Then Mohawk Fleet and Barney Five kick here. Foxley Truffles also making a forward move now as they move down towards the final two furlongs. Everton Brook is being challenged now by Kingscroft Homer and Foxley Truffle. Mohawk Fleet trying to hang on. Battle Image is trying to run on as well. So too is Karahajar. But now at the centre of the track, Kingscroft Homer has gone into the lead just from Everton Brook and Foxley Truffle in Mohawk Fleet. And now he says go again on Everton Brook and Everton Brook is in the lead again, but now Foxley Truffle is trying to try and challenge finishing quick. He's Mohawk Fleet right over the far side, King Croft over, but it's Foxley Truffle who's beginning to pull away as they go around once Foxley Truffle is going to take it from Mohawk Fleet. Courage, our paparazzi at Cantwell, closest at the finish. Barney Fife was next, and two smashing was tailed off. And quite a few didn't get into that at all, but the ones that did. Foxley Truffle, or Foxley Truffle and Kura Hajar, probably both in the same stable, first and third. So that's a pretty good performance for somebody. I don't recognise those colours. Mohawk Fleet was second, and Paparetto account was fourth. So it's Ananias. So I think Ananias probably had their first winner not too long ago. They've got another one there. Foxley Truffle, well done to them. And Mohawk Fleet second for John Seaford. You are getting so close, you'll get that winner soon. Kura Hajar for Ananias was third. Paparetto account for D Slattery was fourth, and Everton Brook for Paul Fisk was fifth. So good to see some of the newcomers up there fighting out the finish in that exciting race on Arc Day.